Welcome to EuroC Sucks, the weekly podcast where we review and critique the best and the worst fan-created original characters from the My Little Pony fandom. This show is unscripted and unfiltered, so moderate language will be used. As well, this show can be a little heavy on critique at times. That being said, if you were easily offended, don't watch. If not, feel free to join us for this week's show. This is episode 29 for September 19th, 2014. This week, we are building an IKEA shelf and we have an abundance of pegs, so we are going to throw them into this episode. My name is Mummified Thunderbirds. I am the host and show manager. I am joined by Commander Sparkle, Assistant Project Manager. I'm Minnie Bobo. I'm in charge of gathering questions and view interaction. And I'm Smooth Sailing. And I'm the editor. Awesome. So, uh, like I said, this week we are going to be reviewing Pegasus OCs, a part of our Mega Block section. Uh, when did you say that? I just said it five seconds ago. Didn't you hear? Um, so yeah, I heard you say something about pegs. Exactly. Uh, it's called mummified puns. Mummified <laughs> terrible stupid. intros. They're absolutely awful. And they're great. And I love them. Um, fan art this week. I like the fan art this week. Oh, really? Yes. Well, there's a thing that Medi and I got um, from uh, Loveless's creator. It was freaking beautiful. And then there was one with like a, like a shining word or like a... Uh, um, there's another toss. one, but it's not nearly as important as the first one. I, I will because admit, beautiful wings. I will admit, you're, I, I really like you guys. It's, it's really fucking cute. <laughs> like it's really cute. Worst oh, part oh. is the worst part is I want to be incredibly vain and be all like, <laughs> obviously I'm the best. Freaking even then, Loveless is the best part of it. And I'm just yeah. like, dang it. I want to be prideful. I want to be a jerk. It's really... Dang it. It's cute, though. Yeah. I saw the Northern Lights part, two, and I'm like, wait, what was part one? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that one. Oh. Oh. (laughs) I think our Northern Lights are right next to each other. Yeah, I totally just, like, I was just thinking about that. But the perspective's wrong. How is it wrong? Because in part two, it's got an upward face, and you can't see the horizon. While Northern Lights 1, you can see the horizon. They can't be right next to each other. Either way, they're... You guys are looking for us, so we're nowhere obviously, close yeah, to each other. Yeah, obviously they're not next to each other, but they look like that. Yes, yeah. yeah. have you read direction. the description? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do we even... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're apparently... We got sick and tired of waiting for Christmas, and we just went and hunted down Santa. <laughs> so, and yeah, his slaves, on, I mean elves. Come on, man. Do you even watch the show? I even watch the show. <laughs> Are you sure? I am. Okay, I am so mummified. In yes. response to the you not being cute, uh, yeah. X made another thing for you. I saw <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still not cute, I swear to God. Even when you make me like a newborn cute <laughs> style thing. Stop! Don't you don't mention that. I I I talk about it. Because why? If we ignore the thing that we all fear, then we're gonna stay afraid of it. But if we shine a light on it, no one will be afraid of it anymore. So you're afraid of being cute? No, I'm. <laughs> no. Yes. That explains yes. a lot. Yes. No. I'm manly as hell. Totally. So manly. Also, the uh, Sailor Scouts. Oh my week. god, I was gonna bring that up. It's, I'm so fucking cute. Was it this I week? know exactly yeah. which one I am. Which one I are don't. you, Smith? <laughs> I have no clue. I've never seen Sailor Moon. I... <laughs> it's funny. I've never seen Sailor Moon either. I but... swear to god, I think you're the one I wanted to be. Ha! Huh? Am I Jupiter? <laughs> I think you're Jupiter. Ha! Huh? Ha! Sucks to suck, jerk! All I know is, I'm quite happy being Tuxedo Mask. I wanted to be Jupiter. Look at how pretty I am! Shut up, Sailor Moon. (laughs) It's almost like you're the main character or something. I've never heard of you, though. I've never heard of you. By the way, so, and then Miles made us as Laboons? I don't know what a Laboon is. He made all of us? Le bon. Well, there's the commander one, and then there's mine that you haven't added to the folder as of recording, but... Because I hadn't seen it. Because, Miles, please tag us in your pictures so I can see them right away. Yeah. Yeah, she's done. Yeah, commander, me, Soren. 
and that's it. So far. We all got fan tags. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Fan tags? I, I kind of the, looked at it, stamps. and I was like, what? Oh, the stamps. Uh, oh, that, no. Oh. They're not called... Oh. No, they're stamps, I think. Whatever. Fan stamps. I don't... I don't... I don't... <sighs> it's the same, th- the same thing. He doesn't Just, like, Deviant whatever. Art. It means something. I acknowledge that. I don't know what it means. I think it means people like us. I think it's something they can put in their profile. Be like, hey, I like yes. this person. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, now we can, like, say that. So, go to our favorites folder, which is linked in the description below. Yep. And then you can, on your DeviantArt, be like, oh, hey, I like this one. Plop. And then be done with it. How the fuck do stamps work? I don't know. No fucking clue. Go ask some other DA. Yeah, go ask somebody who understands what the fuck DA is. Um, Okay, well then, moving into the actual episode. uh, The the theme this week is Pegasus. So, rolling. uh, That is a three. So, let's go with Medi. Uh, This is uh, Pinpoint. Uh, I'm opening off with I love her eyebrows. Eh. He, he, They're he, he, so he adorable. Eh. She's got that look about her. Looks like she's about and to wreck shit. She has one giant it's eyelash. Fine. It's fine. I really style. like the stylization here. Stylization. And uh, uh, she is a very young mare. She's six. Don't know what that means exactly. No, no, you're reading that wrong. She's oh. little younger than main six. Oh, okay, I am wrong. She's a little younger than main six. That makes everything much better. Pinpoint is a very uh, passionate pony about flying. Uh, she's sometimes referred to as the sky bullet. Uh, and she, uh, she's, a, she's a believer in working hard for your rewards to, like, achieve... To, to get rewards, you must work hard, basically. Yeah. And yeah. uh she's easily angered and irritated as well. That's uh she kind of she almost kind of looks at a little bit like she just seems constantly angry. She reminds me of a more work ethic based lightning dust. Yes. She's overconfident and this is because of her other two things where she's like she must work hard but she's easily irritated. Her uh, cutie mark is something I actually really like, even though I don't like it at the same time, because it's simple, yet, and it plays into her character, but I just, I personally don't like it. Uh, her, it's a, or at least how it's described, it's a rifle aimer, or it's, a, it's a scope. Uh, n- no, it is not. That is not a scope. That is a crosshair. Okay, sorry, I don't yeah. care. I'm, I'm sorry, but call it what it is, it's not... Fine, uh, it's uh, it's obviously not a rifle aimer either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just like okay, the it's a crosshair. Okay, it's a crosshair, but it's a, like a purplish pinkish crosshair, mm-hmm. and it fits into her color scheme, and I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, and it refers to her like I like it because it kind of fits with her special talent. She is very fast. She is as fast as a bullet. She's a very fast flyer. Uh, playing into her very determined nature, another part of her cutie mark represents that she, when she wants something done, it's the only thing she puts her mind to, basically. She targets it. Okay, yes. that makes more sense. Technical dual talent that makes sense? Without a story? A, a dual talent within one cutie mark that doesn't have two parts to it. Mm. Yes, I like it a lot. You see? <laughs> You see? Also, get out of here, Mom. I... Get, get your bad talent how, out of here. How does... How, I mean, how... Uh, crosshairs do not mean speed. So how does her being as fast as a bullet... No, no, but it does reference, like, guns yeah. and shooting and bullets. I, I get that. And the fact that she aims in on what she wants with target precision. I get that. But the cutie mark, I don't feel fits well with the idea of her flying ability. How she's as fast as a bullet, air quotes. 
I'm going to mm, counterpoint I'm, you. Yeah. Thank you. Because I like I think that it does fit because the thing about a cutie mark is it's it, it, like you can't take it literally. Like it is like a pure symbol and if you like I feel that due to the fact like I mean crosshairs are something that are on a firearm which like like it takes some extrapolation but the like that's sort of what like a key work is it's not supposed to be this like oh it can be like an in your face oh this is obvious but sometimes the, the ambiguity of the talent is what makes or of the key mark and the talent of what it is is sometimes the like almost the ingenuity of it like uh, it's hard to exactly explain what i'm trying to go for smooth do you have a better uh, way of explaining what i'm saying no i completely understand actually oh never mind i like the character sheet as a whole though the side sketches don't really do proper color justice to the character i still feel like they're varied enough in all their styles that really help give all the different you styles. Mean their expressions? Or everything. No, literally everything. Expression, posing, uh, style, everything about each one of these characters really helps uh, uh, show the character in the best way possible. If, if we had this for our character sheet episode, I probably would have totally, definitely maybe used this as my good OC for that one. Unlike a good day. Unlike a good day. No guarantees. Or a bad day. No guarantees. Hero C sucks. Maybe, that whole or maybe on a promises. bad day. I yeah. like it. I, I, I like her colors. They're cute. I like everything about this OC. I really like that accessory. I like this OC. The handkerchief like is so cute. I even her? like the human version. She's really cute as well. Yep, it's definitely yeah. a human version and not an Equestria Girls version. Yeah. It's a very stylized human, which is cool. I also like her size comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Happy face, sad face. Oh, and look at look who's in the other silhouette. Oh, it's Rainbow Dash, cause she knows she's that, faster. That, that, hey, that, hey, you wanna know what though? Shut the fuck up. Tony has bigger wings. Yep. On yeah, the other side, he does have bigger wings. On the other side. So look, to mirror this comparison of size, mirror. a wing comparison of size. Mirror. Pinpoint wings are. Quite definitively bigger. Yeah. I like the color choices in this OC. They're very uh, well picked, I guess. Yeah. They yeah, really blend well. They blend well with each other. They have a nice Yay. color palette. They're all yes. nice and baby colored. Yeah. They're also very pleasant to my eyes. Also, her adorable dresses. Oh, yeah. I, the, I, the gala dresses. Oh, I wait. I guess it's only one dress because the other one's just her in a uh, her wing wrapped Skirt. up. Oh, it's a what? gala dress uh, and her human the gala dress. Dr- the gala dress just looks like the human outfit a little bit. Oh, you were yeah. talking. You were talking about the one on the right where her wings yeah. wrapped up. Yeah, I thought she was in an outfit there. Ah, she is hurt. Yeah. I'm sad. Well, she just kind of looks mildly upset. She, Not sad. She looks mildly upset. I am mildly upset. What? <laughs> oh, I like that one where she's blushing profusely. She looks so oh. cute. She looks strong. <laughs> God, that fucking handkerchief is just... I can't get over that handkerchief. I want to really snuggle this pony and have her be angry at me. I think she's really cute. I want to snuggle it. And I also like how she has a trail in that in her uh, sheet. Also <laughs> technically neckerchief, not handkerchief. Shh. Anyway, uh, thank you for this one there, Mitty. Uh, moving on to the next OC. I rolled a one. This is Featherflight. Featherflight is a young adult stallion who lives in Philadelphia and is currently the leader of the city's weather team. He always does his job as fast as possible, and you can usually have you as you usually have to be able to change the weather quickly. He's not the most socializing pony around, but certainly tries his best to be kind and trustworthy to others. He's very straight to the point guy, kind of uh, kind of like quit messing around and do something already. I like this guy. I like that. He's always a bit pushy and takes most things pretty seriously, or even too seriously. He handles stress well and is usually confident. He's a bit naive, incompetent, and sometimes a bit silly, but always dependable. I like what he did with uh, this piece, with the eyes, mane, coat, and goggles, is the fact that he colored them all in the different styles, or the different colors. 
like the E is the actual like dark part of the gradient, the S is the lighter part of the gradient, and then the Y and the E are the actual two uh, uh, highlights in the eye. The main shows the different colors, the coat shows the different colors, including the back color, uh, and then the goggles obviously are their own colors, but it's just like everything in this character, this, though it also shows colors, it also doesn't detract from the piece itself. I, 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 I don't know how to put that, but it's very well done. That's what I'm trying to say. I like this character sheet, even though it's not really a character sheet, it's just a color reference, I guess. I don't know. I like I like this character, both from the backstory and the coloring. Um, I feel like it's a weird thing that so far both ponies we've had are both like, yeah, speed. Well, that is the general consensus about Pegasi. It's that they're all about the speed and they want to go fast and they will do yeah. the thing. It's either all about it's either all about speed or all about the earth. Wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think carefully about this one. Archetypes of Pegasi. You mean stereotypes of Pegasi? No. What does this cutie mark mean? I do not know. It says, uh, still figuring out a good backstory. Feather and, like... A cloud. Cloud? Yes. Which I guess means flight, apparently. You mean flight. But no. what's his special or, talent is the or, better question. I don't know. Or maybe his name doesn't directly translate from his cutie mark. Well, there's oh. definitely a feather. Yeah, there's definitely a feather, but cloud it doesn't necessarily mean flight. Goodness. No, the feather means cu- flight. Forty maybe. cutie marks and names are usually connected. Connected, <laughs> not necessarily he... the same freaking <laughs> thing. <laughs> he is as light. <laughs> maybe... He is as light as a feather, and it makes him a very nimble flyer. I really like it. I mean, I like the color. I do like how they work together. We talk about it a little bit on the show about how, like, hair can be uh, either a little bit too front-heavy or back-heavy. I feel like with this character, it has a nice mix of uh, having a nice little bit of spikiness in back and then a little bit of spikiness on top as well. So everything feels nice and balanced with this character as well. I agree that it feels balanced. The it still kind of, it just it kind of bugs me. For specifically, like like I I am I am the guy who pushes for theming and your mane and tail, and I know that. But that tail is like it's just the back of his mane. Hey, like, what pretty do you know? much exactly. So, what's wrong with that? But, it's lazy. Yeah, it, it's kind of. I mean, like, it just sort of seems... It does seem, a, like, a little bit lazy, and it just sort of, d- like, detracts from the appeal of it and the originality of the main tale. I do think it's interesting how it looks like... Because one of the reasons why it particularly looks like just copy or, like, cookie cutters right from it is the fact that near the, like, out the topmost spike on the tail, it looks like it has the indent from the goggles, which... That would be made by the goggles, not just inherent in the main. So, what if it's like spirit weird. links between spirit the two? Spirit links. Um, I mean, I, I, ponies and magic. I guess you can you can try to bullshit that away. It just still personally bugs me. I do like the attempt to like try and get things in a general theme, though, because that's def- that's definitely something that I think makes for a, a better OC. I find that the eyes are a little bit too faded. Like, I get, like, everything in this character is supposed to be very uh, lightweight. Oh, not lightweight. Light, <laughs> lighter shaded and very, um, I don't know, pastel, so to speak. But the fact that their eyes are so light kind of, I don't know. If you just made them everything in the eye just, like, a tick darker, I think that would be a whole lot better. Yeah, especially the bottom, because, like, I, until I zoomed in, I, it almost blended in with the eye whites, and you don't want that. Like, make it you ten, want... make it ten darker and ten more in saturation. Yeah, because you want, usually, you want your eyes to pop, especially since this, this, this pony, it's got this sort of, like, I don't know, what, a, what color would you call that? It's light gray? For the coat? Oh, the coat, uh, I don't know, teal? Yeah, like 
Yeah, it's like a uh, oh, like a sort no. of teal. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's kind of tealy. It's like green. a yeah, yeah, come yeah. on, guys. <laughs> it's sort of like a, a like like a, a like a teal seafoam green kind of color. Sea lemon green. And then like the mane is like this like light gray. Is very light gray, and. You want for the eyes. If you had something that pops, that would bring so much more life to the character. And I get that the the pony is sort of like just leg laid back and stuff, but it just it, it just adds so much. Yeah, it, pony feels a little bit more a little bit dead. He's like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna look. My, I'm just gonna look my hoof. Uh. But anyway, we need to move on. So let's move on to the next. I'll say. That is, uh, nope, that, nope, there we go, time for Commander. Okay, so, this is Sale. Sale is a, uh, he's a pretty laid-back stallion who, like, he, he's, his dreams are to, act, like, go specifically and be a cadet, or at least that's the starting point of his dream, is to be a cadet in the academy, and, but not only is, do, does he want to be a cadet for the academy, which I'm... It doesn't really describe exactly what academy. I, it's, it makes me think Wonderbolt Academy because it's the only academy we know of as being existing in the Pony universe. So I'm going to go with that. But he wants to be a cadet in the Wonderbolt Academy. But not only that, but he wants to be the best, which would probably then like get him on the track for an actual career for the rest of his life. So he's actually thinking like on a like a more a, a down to earth scale, ironically. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, apparently, though, he gets picked on because of his main color, I'm assuming, because it's just so, it, like, different and, like, like vibrant in compared or not vibrant, but it, it really stands out against the coat, and due to him getting picked on, he's a, like, he's, a, like, a sensitive, I, w- I wouldn't say sh- shy, but he's a sensitive pony. Um, he's obviously a, a male, and he's a young adult, that age, which I think is nice, just saying a general... Like type of age, um, I I really like his coat or his not his coat uh, his colors. I just I don't know. Like I mean, as we talked about on our blue episode, blue and orange they they they, they really work they work well together in a lot of situations. And I really I like this, and I also I don't normally like two tone coats, but I like the way it's done here. Mm, I do not. It it pulls away from the main actually. Mm, yeah, hilarious. It's a little distracting. The, hilarious. The point is that his mane is standouty because his coat is more standouty than his mane is. Probably to because it's least. more saturated. No, I can. I can um, see. I mean, is that saturation. I don't. Th- I don't think it feels. Either that really. way, the coat draws more attention to it than the mane does, because of its two tonedness and how. Irregular, that is, kind of thing. Also, yeah. the colors don't blend very well with each other. I don't know what you're talking about, Smooth. I think these colors blend perfectly. Mm-hmm. 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 Nothing. <laughs> what is happening to my ears? <laughs> <laughs> Leave that one in. <laughs> Nothing, Mummified. I think these colors blend really well together. I disagree. I do too. I don't care. I do. The only issue I have is uh, with that wet mane versus his 3D sail version. Is is Very his cute. like little mouthpiece connected? You mean to that little third three quarter? Yeah, that's three Q. Th- yes, three Q, not three D. And there's nothing on here that's three D. What? <laughs> fucking three D. Plus, <laughs> plus, if it was three D, you'd be seeing red and blue added to everything. Exactly. And, and, if, you die, and, die, and if you actually looked at it, everywhere. then guess what? The colors would be skewed. Oh my god! What if someone actually like went out and started making like red and green, Shut red and blue? The fuck up, everyone! I'm trying That'd be to make cool. points. I want to see okay, that. Go on. Go okay, ahead. his wet mane. I don't understand. His, like you can kind of see in his uniform piece that like. The light blue is connected from his face to his body, but in his wet mane, he turns his head in a direction that they're separated. <laughs> that yeah, I. <laughs> I, did, I didn't. Yeah, really... necks necks don't work like that. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that. But uh, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. 
<laughs> Everything yeah. else on this OC, I like. Uh, yeah, ne- necks don't work like that. I, uh, I mean, the head just it's, turns. It's pretty minor, I guess. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. One thing that I think is really is cool for the fact because this pony has fetlocks, and the fetlocks are the lighter coat color, which is something interesting that I like. I, I mean, since we don't see really too many two tone uh, ponies for coats. Yeah, I like it's not something that comes up very often, but I think it's nice that they use that that lighter coat color for the fetlocks. Mm. My suggestion, I suppose, is to only have one of the two blues, probably the darker one because the orange stands out from it better. For, like I love how like we're having all these like ponies with or, like we've got these ponies with accessories. Like, this is like Pegasi accessory episode, because the last pony had, like, goggles. One before that had, uh, neckerchief. Neckerchief. This neckerchief. Also has a neckerchief. But it's, but it's, it, like, more it's in the, bandana. like, band- Yeah, it, 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 it's a, it's a bandana. It's, like, in the, that sort bandana, of, like, banana. bandito, like, style, where it's, like, around his neck, with the, like, corner down. And, no, I mean, like, I think the white works. I think the white works on him. Like, I, I like. I feel like th- like this is th- like this would be more of a target candy mark, as yeah. opposed to because I mean. Oh sweet, pinpoint can hunt him down then. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't. I don't really understand why people think it's a good idea to put targets as their candy marks. Cause, why not? Because that's kind of bad, especially if he's well, like in the military. What if, if what if the target's supposed to represent the target of him being bullied? For his light colors. Well, like the light colors on the target. Well, then, then how his, is that how a talent? Mark, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, your t- special talent Maddie, is being You would argue wow, against that. that. Yeah, I would dumb. obviously argue. That would give me something to argue against, but still it would be something. <laughs> oh, thank you for giving us more to say against him. Yes. Even though you're trying to defend him. You sound like you're against him. No, I literally said it. Yes, I would probably argue against that, but at least it would be more than not knowing. Mm, not sure how no. I that one, or if any at all agreement. Commander, what final words on this OC? I don't know. I I, I just like him. It's just like I I saw him and I like I just immediately was like I like this OC is just just seems fun. I like him. Thank you for bringing on this episode. Hey, you know who goes next? Uh, no. Smooth. Let's see here. Tell us. All about your OC. Okay. Uh, this is Shadow Vale, also known as Xanon, because um, because his creator goes by Xanon. This is his pony Zona. Xanon Shadow Vale. Um, he is a cult of young age, uh, regular Pegasus. Um, no genetic difference about that, even though I know you'd think, trust me, it's... It's just he's just a Pegasus. Um, he does actually have a cutie mark, I guess. So he is of age of getting cutie mark, but I don't recall exactly. I don't remember if I ever saw what the cutie mark was for. However, I do have personality. Oh, actually, never mind. I do have the um, cutie mark also. Never mind. I'm just stupid and blind and stupid. Sorry. And blind. Anyway, Shadow Vale is a. Uh, he's kind of. He kind of plays the cowardly bard type of character. And he's. He was mainly made for um, an RP or role play that uh, Xanon is part of. But he has great imagination and takes everything, even if it's, you know, not all that good, as a part of his world. Uh, Sky Captain, the pirate. Nothing seems to budge his innocence. I guess I'll stop delaying, and I'll go to the part that everyone was probably like, Smooth, what the... What are you doing, good OC? Uh, what are those crystal thing? What's with the shine, and what's the colors, and what's going on? Well, um... You know how I said he's actually a regular Pegasus genetically? He's just a Pegasus. Uh, those crystals? Those are actually a part of... A very well explained, very gigantically explained um, bit that is also a part of an AU kind of thing. 
Cool. Uh, it's the crystal is actually a parasite. There is a subspecies of pony called a. It's not crystal pony because that's already a thing, but like a, it's something like that along those lines where ponies the ponies are genetically infused or genetically have these crystal parasites in them and they grow from age to age up and they serve their crystal queen i believe i don't recall it's been a while um and uh eventually if it gets bad it can either control them or kill them depending on Ooh. fortitude and a bunch of different things shadow veil however is not a canon part of that AU. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did yes. You want... <laughs> yes. Added added confusion on top of that what? is not He's... canon in that AU. <laughs> what? I um, don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... But the crystals aren't in him naturally, I believe. Uh, I don't. I can't remember at the moment how exactly he got them, but he's not a part of that crystal race. He's just a regular Pegasus, but the crystal parasites in him through a different means. So yes, he is. Those crystals are killing him. Oh, eventually, so eventually he will die because of them. If he doesn't die of old age, he'll he die looks, of those. He or looks any way other. too happy to be uh, knowing that he's going to die. You know, I just, I or, just, you know, I you could just be one day happy about life. You know, yes. I, I'm gonna die, but why do why let that why let that bring I mean, me down? Good guys. on him. I mean, Good I kind of just you know. There are a lot of ponies apparently learn that to have the it. crystal thing. They all have to go through it too. Everyone dies eventually. Come on. I, yeah, I mean, more and you know, down with it. I mean, it's like you know I, what happens, I, man. I mean, that's good on him. <laughs> like, that'd be a scary thing. Just being like, oh, I have this. Like, do, like, does it, like, encase them in crystal slowly, or how does it, does it, is it explained at all? I, I don't think it went into the gory details of how they're murdered. Because, you know, I commander's mean, fucked up like that. Hey, hey, I mean, like, I was wondering. He, as a bard, is good at playing instruments, making music, has very good imagination, and other artsy things like that. Unfortunately, I threw a bit of... Re- searching around places I cannot find the cutie marks meaning besides hiding in the shadows that seems kind of strange especially since he's glowing yeah <laughs> yeah. That, uh, yeah that would kind of suck hey what yeah. are those what's that pink thing over their head don't worry about it. it's probably nothing probably just no, a ma- mouse. no matter no matter how many bonuses you had to stealth you would you would have to take massive hits to it because you're glowing. Yeah, unless unless those crystals were just a lot of... Unless those crystals were, like, just all over the place in this AU somehow. Yeah, I suppose. Like, uh, that Unless unless they were... Unless there were different color glowing ones or they weren't bright enough to outglow him, like, immensely. Nothing can outglow me! Yeah, by, by the time... Um... By the time they were bright enough to outglow him, it would be enough to outglow anyone, and then anyone would be able to sneak around easily. Yeah. Not 100% sure that cutie mark can work with him physically. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. I, if he was a normal Pegasus, it would, it, it would, it could make sense, because it is a, like, he has a darker color palette and stuff. He's not, like, in your face with, like, bright colors and stuff. So that, that would make sense. But these so crystals just throw that face. for a, for a loop. His yeah. destiny was being able to hide in shadows. Crystal parasite. Oh, okay, would... fine. Make me bad at my freaking destiny. Okay, further, thanks. Fur- further questioning, my why is he happy? <laughs> he can yeah. still exist, you know. Oh yeah, he's just having I mean, yeah. Come on. Just, just because you have some sad things about who you are meant to be doesn't mean you can't change it. Oh well, yeah, oh, but goodness. I mean, it's just that's taking the situation. And still being able to be okay with who you are and what you want to do with your life. Come on. It's just a surprising this is one of, thing. This is probably one of the most together characters I've seen in that regard. Also, props to them for pulling off a, like, a red and, like, 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 what you would actually red accept as, like, kind yeah, of. black, like an acceptable black. Yeah. Black. 
Yeah, because... definitely. It's that yeah. nice charcoal color, not a yeah. freaking pure black. And I then like they... that the red isn't outlandish, but mm-hmm. it actually goes yeah. with the black. Yeah, like yeah, like props on them for that too, because that's mm-hmm. that, that's hard to do. <laughs> it's yeah. really hard to do. Especially when the, the fandom, like it, people see red and black OC, and it's yeah, just like red and black OC. like oh my god, your OC is terrible. You choose red and black, blah blah blah. It's like, but, yeah, but like, but like, legitimately, that's actually like, like we're enough for the, the really bright, bright pink and purple crystals and stuff. I would be like, I was just for like those colors. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 and also is, is the kitty mark pure black and pure white? Uh, it should be. I, I know. I, I mean, like, it does, it, I think it makes sense. Like, I like. If there's any place that those should be, that's not the eyes. I guess that that would make sense for his talent. I'm still confused on how that is means hiding in the shadows as well. I I can see it. I. I like like the solar eclipse going through and okay and the sun the sun's hiding behind the moon and it's just kind of like peeking out like eh, I'm eh. looking out from behind the moon okay I really like him oh yeah I, 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 the crystal things bug me still but it, like it makes it, like okay the the thing that bugs me is the fact that he's not a canon part of the AU that's the thing that bugs me well yeah. that's an AU and he's a fan thing of an AU so you know also, what just deal with it. Also, we should totally, I mean, Mummified should totally link that giant thing in the description. It's quite the read. Right here on the screen will be a link to find out more information about the uh, crystal stuff. Got it? Good, because it's about to go away, and it's gone. Aww. Sorry. I didn't you... I didn't get to click it fast enough. So rewind Mummified. and click it. Rewind and then go click it. Oh, thanks. Rewind, I missed it again. Does that floating crystal stay with him? Yeah. That's so, so strange. Is it shining? Yeah. Yeah, ev- everything's glowing. So then that doesn't make sense for a good for hiding in the shadows. I mean, the you could you could fix this by just not specifying on shadows because glowing objects don't hide well in shadows. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of get rid of the shadows actually. <laughs> it kind of. Well, no, I mean, it creates shadows, just not where he is. It also gets rid of the ones you're in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like. Yeah, like. I, I, yeah, you can be good at hiding, even if you're a glowing object, because there's such, such a thing as hiding in plain sight. You just gotta learn how to do it. I mean, like, if he was, if that was his talent to be able to hide, then I'd be fine with it. But it spe- specifies hiding in shadows. Many the cutie he, mark nitpick guy. Hey, it happens. You gotta He's be known fine. for something. It's fine. Um, I'm just... I guess everything I said, I really like it. Colors were good. I like... I like... Cool. 